Hello, this is a video tutorial on how to make a video and post it on YouTube. Um, a friend asked me to make this uh, video. Um, I'm not very good at speaking to the camera, so forgive me if I screw up really badly. So, <clears throat> a friend asked me to make this video because he was interested to know how to make a video. So, first things first, you need a camera. I have a Sony Handycam SDR SR11. Um, that one cost me about $900. You don't have to buy, you know, one that's too expensive. There are some that, are, you know, like $400, a couple hundred dollars. After you, when you get your camera, you need um, to take the take film the shot, film the scene, and um, t you know, just press the record button on your camera and it do your stuff. And that should be simple enough. And then after you, um, rec after you film, you need to Im import it some way in onto your computer. It really depends on your camera uh, how it is imported. Mine, all you need to do is plug it into USB, and it just pops up. Everything just imports. Um, some needs, I think something called FireWire or something like that, you just need to connect it and it just does the filming. So you just gotta find out based on the camera you use. After you're done filming and importing your video, I'm, you're just gonna have to edit the video. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna use Windows Movie Maker because uh, a lot of computers have Windows Movie Maker already when you get the computer if if you're using like a computer that uses Windows program. Okay, now that we're in movie, Windows Movie Maker, we'll, we'll start editing. So, first thing you want to do is to import the video right here <clears throat> from the computer onto the Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to scroll down, find where it is, right here. Select that. And press here, import. It's gonna take a little bit, a couple seconds. So now, <clears throat> also, they all. Although I have one clip, depending on how the length of your clip, it's gonna split split it up into a into several clips. So. You, let's deselect that for a sec. Now, <clears throat> if you select this, over here you can see, over on this little panel thing, you can preview your video. So I'm going to click preview. So, there I am, pretending to look at something in the telescope. Although, <laughs> there's nothing much to look at, because... <clears throat> There's, let's put the volume, okay, there's nothing much to look at because it's just a room. Now, what you can do, let's go check the other one. Okay, that's my dad just playing the saxophone in the background. <clears throat> what you can do is, over here, you can expand the box to suit like the size if you want so <clears throat> to put at it so there's something down here okay, let's close something down here the timeline um, and there's also storyboard these just help you edit your video I pr prefer timeline because <clears throat> I just find it easier to cope with I guess. Now just drag and drop it the clip onto your timeline to set it in the timeline. And so so down here you can see the timeline. So now <clears throat> see and then if you want, let's say um nah, I'll do that later. So I'm gonna put the next one here, just like plops in just like that now let's say 
I think this is too long. All I can do, see the old border is those red arrows, just drag it and make it shorter any length you want. Over here there's a bit of gray that shows how what you just broke off. So that's gonna I'm gonna play it again. Yes. I'm gonna drag this all the way back to zero and play. Okay, right there, it kind of, you know, chopped a little bit, so I don't want that. So what I can do is I go over to Edit Movie and add in at View Video Transitions. I go over there. Then all I'm going to do, just going to add any kind of transition I want. Let's see. Let's try, let's see Shatter In. That's nice. But what if I want something simpler than that? Maybe I would say dissolve. How about that? Simple enough. All you have to do, it's really simple. It's just the same thing as put adding clips. Just in between the two clips you want to edit, just see that blue just blue, vertical line? Drop it on there. See down here it says transition. Over here. <clears throat> now Preview it. Yeah, I say I like that. You know, the f dissolve into the next part. So, now. What if I don't I want the volume to be a bit softer? All I have to do is to right click on it and the on the volume and it says there's mute, you can completely mute it, no sound at all. Right here. Or if you just don't want that, you just wanna adjust the volume, you go to volume or just press control U and just slide it down for a small vo volume and if you want it really loud so I'm just gonna put it down here okay let's see, see it now you can tell it got a lot softer so now we did that <clears throat> um, Let's see if we want to add any effects to it, to the video. There is one way you can go to Edit Movie, vi View, Video Effects, and you have all these effects over here, and then you just, again, drag it and drop it over here. Like, um, smudge stick, just drag and drop it onto this one. Did I do it? Um, no. Here, actually, for effects, I might want to go to storyboard. Since you can see down here, this star symbol. <clears throat> so, if you just drag it on here, the star becomes blue. You can see. It becomes a bit like painting or something. What if, um, a faster way to do it is right-click it. And you go to video effects. Here it says all these video effects. Um, you can add it by selecting it um, and press add. Or you can select it and remove it. So I'm just going to change it to, let's say, threshold. Then I go click OK. That looks, I like that. Now, so that's that's just in, in that little tiny space where I just monitor this. So what I can do, I can press in the zoom in, or instead, I can let's see, I forgot what it was. Never mind. Just click on this to zoom in. I forgot what the shortcut was. 
And then you have the big things too zoomed in, so you just do that. See the effect star over there, then you see the dissolve. Now, just in case, you know, you wanna, you might forget, just save the project if you want. I can just name it, um, I don't know how to name it. I'll just call it telescope. And then click save. Now it's saved. After the hourglass goes away, it's gonna take a while, I guess. Yeah, okay. There. Now, whenever you just wanna save the project, you just click that button up there, or you press Control S.